Now that's an entrance. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a Trekkie. Today we're messing around with particle effects, a fascinating feature in PowerDirector that can help elevate your video projects to the next level. So grab some coffee, let's take a look. That's right, today we're playing around with particle effects. I'm going to show you how to recreate that intro. <laughs> I'm Harvey Roberts for Permanent Tourist in Helsinki. Today we're playing with our particles. <laughs> we're going to be doing masking. We're going to be doing background cutouts. We're going to do all the good stuff, all the creative stuff. Let's get into it. As always, watch out for tips and tricks throughout the video tutorial. <laughs> Let's open up Power Director. Let's play with our particles. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so we've got a new project open. Let's bring in our files, import media files, um, videos, captures, first log. I have this. Now I have already pre-cut because, because I did it for this tutorial, of course. So if I open up this out, you can see, and this is one I've got. This is the first one. I'm gonna bring this, I'm gonna drop this down onto track two. In fact, I'm not gonna put it there. I'm just gonna bring it there. It doesn't really matter where you put it. Now what we need to cause, we need a background. We need this background. And I did this um, when I shot the video. I just took a video first of a couple of seconds before I actually started doing the video of the background. So I haven't cut this out. So I'm gonna bring the whole video clip down like this. And I'm gonna right click here and snapshot. Control P, take a snapshot. Now I've already done this and it's in my screenshots, it's in here. So I'm going to bring this in so you don't you don't have to do this, but you just save it to where I have it and then it'll already be here in your library. So let's get rid of that. I don't need that. So import media files, pictures, screenshots, and I'm going to bring this in. So here's our background. This is going to go onto track one. I'm going to spread this out just a touch just trim it only so there's a the background and what we need now is me <coughs> sorry me and then we're gonna mask delete the background and use me so double click on this here I am now I'm gonna drop the sound so you don't have to listen to me talking and I'm just going to just drag this along see now all I'm doing is I'm just waiting thinking that this is how I'm coming in and I'm coming in and then somewhere there that's where i start to talk see so about there so i want it to be about somewhere about there let's say that is a good shot for a snapshot so we click a snapshot of this now click that save it as you would so i'm actually going to save this um, i'm going to go to pictures screenshots and i'm going to save this you see i've already got two set up i'm going to give this another name i'm going to call this snapshot three save it and as you can see it's brought it automatically in when i saved it this is the one we're going to use for our mask so let's drop this here now I don't bring it into the timeline just at, at the beginning because I'm going to show you something that happens when you edit this or when you cut out the background. So double click this open. Background remover so we can remove the background. Now you take note I'm wearing a dark shirt and of course when I did the background removal it, it become a problem with masking so just take note of this. So let's go to background removal. Just click on background and there you go it's gone but the shirt is a bit of a problem. And I'll show you why. So we're going to go to Mask Designer. And we'll click on here. You see this? This is how we're going to create our mask. I've already created one here like this. You can see it's already done. I don't want to use that at the moment. I'm going to just so just so you can see how this works. So you click on this and it fades it out to 50%. Now I can hardly see anything at all. I'm thinking this is just absolutely rubbish. I'm going to show you a trick on how to, how to do this if you make the same mistake as I did. So while you've got this and you've got the background removed, close this down, go to media, go to color boards, bring in a white color board and drop it here just above. So now you can see background is white and you can see this person. So now double click our person. 
go to Mask Designer. And now you can see when we create the mask and it just fades it to 50%, we can see where we're putting our mask. And all you do is you just draw around with these points like so. Easy, right? I'll do this quickly because it, for this, and we'll just go around adding several points or pickers as they used to be called in uh, Adobe and uh, the, I think they're just called points now. So let's just quickly go and do this and then finish it, go back here and end it. And there you go, there's our mask. Excellent. And just click on OK. So now we've got our mask. We don't need the, this white because our mask is already done. Now if we drag this over here, you can see now there's our background. And if we can switch it off and on. Cool, right? Now what we want to do is we want this now, this mask, we want to fade this in. And But first of all, we want to add some noise before we start doing the particles. So I'm going to add noise to this, which gives it a really cool effect. So go to effects. And we've got a style effect. And what we need is noise. So I've got a style. And look for noise. And it's old music, it's not in there. So it's got a visual. And there we go, noise. And we'll drop that in. And we're going to drop this onto this little clip here like so let's just spread this out a little bit more bring that back <coughs> so now we've got our noise now we need to increase our noise but we need to do it with keyframing so what we're going to do is we're going to add intensity let's see how much intensity we've got see how it goes black and black with all the intensity right and the size once you make the size bigger, let's just increase intensity. As you can see, the size, it gets bigger and bigger, big pixels. So one or two, maybe I'm going to stay with one. I, I used one before and 15 intensity. We don't need to bother with that. We're going to keyframe it. So go to keyframes. Leave the size at one, but go to keyframes. So here we are. Intensity is what we're looking for. So. Add a keyframe here in, ten, in intensity. You can add the, change the size here as well, but we just intensity key, keyframe and go about a third of the way in. Add another keyframe, two thirds of the way in, keyframe it, and then just before the ending, about somewhere here, I'm going to add another keyframe. So now this is the intensity, and this we don't want it to be zero. So if you click on this little arrow here, select previous keyframe, go here. Bring the intensity down up to about, let's say, 33%. Click on the arrow to previous keyframe. Increase to about 55. Let's say 60, 59, 60 is good. Let's go here and increase the intensity all the way up, like so. Cool, right? So now that we've our masked out and we've got our intensity running, just run that and you'll see comes into view. Excellent. Double click on our picture here. Double click this open. And now we need to change its opacity. So click on opacity and we want to keyframe the opacity as well. So I go to advanced. Make sure you're on opacity. Make sure the slide is at the beginning started here this opacity is going to be zero disappeared drag this along you want about a third of the way in add an opacity keyframe bring the opacity up to about 30 percent drag it along somewhere there add an opacity keyframe increase the opacity to about 60 percent Drag it along. You can use this as well. Drag it along to about here. I want this now to be almost 100%. So I'm going to actually put this at 90. That'll do. 
And then the last one right towards just near the ending, add a keyframe, bring the opacity slide up to 100% and click OK. So now when we run this, the opacity and the noise, very cool. <laughs> now if we bring this video bin in onto the side here like this, deselect everything, go back to the beginning, select it. And here we are, we are appearing. And there's this little glitch there, right there. You see that? I'm going to show you how to fix that. So go right in there. Now, just one frame at a time, or just press I on the keyboard. There, see that? My head's down, my head's up. So now you want to just keep going this along until you get it to how it looked like that. Keep going and keep going and keep going. Um, I think it was about there, somewhere there. So make sure this is now selected. Control T on your keyboard to cut it and delete the first part out. Just de press delete on your keyboard, remove and fill gap. It'll bring it in. So let's go back and see. Not bad at all. There. Okay, so now to put in our particles, we, we need to go to overlays. So go to overlay, change this from stickers to particles, and we need, I'm gonna use fairy dust. There are so many to choose from. And I'm gonna go to general. I think it was in general. I always have trouble finding it. There it is, it's in general. So here is, now this is 3D. And I'm not going to lie to you, this actually slows down PowerDirector and it slowed down my computer. I have a mid-range desktop and, and it slowed it down. So, and I've actually managed to crash this a couple of times. Now, particles are very processor intense. So if you find your computer slowing down, that's the reason why. So if you're doing this, you're creating this, I would act, once you've done your, your creative process, I would produce or export my file and then bring it back into a project. I wouldn't leave this on the project because it would just, it would probably just end up crashing your computer or crashing PowerDirector. So just be aware of that particles is very computer intense. Now I've shortened this because I want it to end just as we start talking. So there, somewhere about there is, is where I want it to end. We can change it, of course, a little bit later. So double click this open now because we're going to edit this and there's lots of options. So double click this open. And here we are with all our particles. You can see we've got our own tracks. We've got a lot of parameters to play around with here. And I'm going to show you some of these things. So first up, this one's got color, this, this one here. We don't want this. I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to right click and remove and delete that one out. And this one, while this one is selected, I'm going to press Ctrl C and Ctrl V on my keyboard to copy it. So we've got a new particle, which is exactly the same as this one. They're just the same. So we need four particles. So we've got the first particle here and we want to change its name. I'm going to go to the top. You can see its name is there. There's a little pen icon here. It says edit, edit this. And I'm going to call this top. So here's our top particle. Now this wants to be, I'm going to use this for the head part. So I'm going to drag this down. So as soon as your mouse changes over the circle, see, so bring this down like this and you're going to say, yeah, but you can't see the head and no, you can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this along and then you can see as it co comes into view, you can see it. So about halfway, it doesn't matter because this is all immaterial. So I'm going to bring this, put it central about there. I'm going to change it to circle because pretty much my head's a circle. Grab this little red icon and drag the circles in using the left mouse button like this. Bring it in, or oh, bring it really small because the particles are, are quite wide. And this is what we've got now. So now let's change the parameters. So the first thing is I'm gonna change the parameter of segments. That means how many of these are. I'm gonna change this down to 10. Press enter on my keyboard. 
I'm going to change the emit rate, that is how many you get in there. I'm going to change this down to 100. Now maximum count is of course how many of these little star things you're getting on here. I'm going to change this to 200. In fact, I'm going to change this all the way down to 30. I don't want that many. Now you can see that there's still a lot of stars and, and you can't, I'm, I'm not really doing that. So just click on the eyes here on the other three so it removes them. So you can see that this is the one we're, we're playing around with. So we've done our maximum count of 30. Now the life we're going to change, life is how long they stay on the screen. So if they fade, they fade away uh, uh, here. So I'm going to change my life down to 2000. Like so. So they fade out pretty quickly. Everything else I'm going to leave as it is. You can play with these. These are just sizes, life variations. They just pertain to what happens to it along the way here. I'm not going to play with any waveforms or wave amplitudes. I'm going to leave that up to you to play around with those. Some of them you can't even see, alter it in any way or form. But the one thing that we're going to use, of course, is gravity. We don't want gravity. We don't want them falling down. So make sure your gravity is set to zero. Just press zero on your keyboard. And that's it, basically. If you run this now, you'll see it got this little circular effect. Look at that. Brilliant, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to show you, it, it, it runs a little bit towards the end, it runs off on its own and it's still running while I'm coming there, you see it's still going, well we're going to change that, so don't worry about that. Let's leave that there. So that is our first one, excellent, let's drag this back up. Let's go to number two. Close the eye on number one, open the eye on number two. So now number two is here, and we're going to drag this down and we're going to put this on the left side on this shoulder here and this is my right shoulder but it's on the left hand side of the screen so I'm going to change this to left as I'm looking at it like so and we want this to be a point so now we've got our point drag the triangle spin it around like so make it like that drag this down inside spread it out a little bit more like that we, of course you can keep changing these around it doesn't really matter like this one see if you bring this one into play bring it open see it is you can still edit these so this is what we've got on number two our left hand side <coughs> now we've got the emit rate we don't have any segments anymore because we're not using a circle we're using a point so there are no segments here now now all we have is the emit rate so change the emit rate down to 100 so we only have a few Maximum count, of course, is 30, like we did before. And the life is at 2,000. Like so. All the way down. Get rid of gravity. We don't want that. Drag it back up. Play it along. See what you got. Cool, right? You might think, well, that's not a lot. It, it's really, we can, we're going to change that a little bit more. We can, we can intensify it by bringing it in and then bringing it down like so. So this is that what we've got now. So now go to the next one, close the eye, open the eye on number three, change the eye. Number three is now going to be called, on edit, we're gonna call this right. I'm gonna drag this down somewhere here and we're gonna make this a point. Now, if you wanted, basically, on the left-hand side, you could actually copy and paste this in if you don't want to edit this again. So instead of doing this like I'm doing here, I'm going to delete this one out completely. So right-click, remove this, and now the left one is still selected. I'm going to press Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V on my keyboard, and now it's done for me, and it's got all the presets already in waiting. All I have to do now is just change this to the opposite side and swap it over like so change its name I'm going to change its name to right press enter and there we go now to make sure that these are in view click this, the left one open as well so you can see that one see it's there that one's there bring it down a little bit bring it in a little bit 
drag this along so you can see where we are with this one two one two that's pretty cool I'll, i'm kind of happy with that we'll leave those let's play this along and see what happens Woo. pretty interesting stuff okay so last one of course is our top one this is the body bring it down somewhere about there we're going to leave this as a line so i'm going to just drag this in a little bit so it's about the same width as uh, uh, my body we can spin it around with this like so if you didn't want to do that you can actually spin it with this as well see this changes it <laughs> you got two ways to do this i'm going to just use it with this one as well so there you go and this gives it a different view let's bring this down here let me open it up so i can see where my body is somewhere about here that is a good position so now we've got this position open exactly the same emit rate now we could increase the emit rate because we don't have segments on this emit rate i'm going to go to 20. maximum count 30. In fact, you know, the emit rate, I'm going to increase that. This this was at 100. I, I'm going to increase this to 200. Maximum count is at 30. And the life, 2,000. Like so. Don't forget, remove gravity. We don't want that. Zero. There we go. So let's bring them all into play. Make sure all the eyes are open, like so. Go from the beginning. Cool. And that gives us our effect. Now I'm going to click OK and bring it back onto our timeline. So there you go. That is how we are increasing our particles. Let me get rid of that. Let's go in here. So this is not... It bothers me when this is... So, so I, I don't like to look at all that. So now we can do... And then just bring this in. Now like so and end it there so there we go that is uh, how we've got our particles now if i play this now you're gonna find it'll it'll probably stutter and there you can see it just ends for some reason and then like i said i'm going to show you how to edit that so there you go it just comes in and then it starts talking and it ends so i'm going to show you uh, last piece is of the puzzle for this is I'm going to show you how to edit those. So start at the top, close up edit modifiers. We don't want that open anymore. There's no colors available there, so that's good. So here's our top one, and you need to in it, enable emit a fade out. We don't want the fade in, we just want the fade out. So make sure that's enabled and do it for all of them. Like so, number three, emit, and number four, enable go back to the top and now all we do is we just drag these bars that have appeared here drag it along until you see where you want it to basically end i want it to end somewhere there i'm going to bring this like this and i'm just going to staircase them just a little bit like that so you get this effect and i'm going to click ok so now when we run it You get this effect and it fades out <laughs> how cool is that perfect run it one more time just to show you just so you can see and there you go and all you do then is just import your sound file and drop your sound file wherever you'd like it export it and then bring it back into your project so you don't have any stutters or anything else and that's how to play around with particles I hope today's tutorial has inspired you to get creative with particles in your own video projects. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, don't forget to check out my channel for all things Power Director and more. That's my rant for today. Have a great day. Stay safe, people. <laughs>